back, everybody. Today, we are back in Riverside in the Carolina Park neighborhood, and we are touring the King model from Lennar Homes. You see, this is an elevated home with these massive double porches. You've got a three-car garage underneath, which we're going to get to a little bit later in this tour. We're not going to start in the garage. We're going to start right through the front door. Now, again, we are in the backside of Carolina Park in the Riverside neighborhood. This is in North Mount Pleasant, and it is a very sought after neighborhood. Right now, Lennar is the only production builder back here, but there are a few custom homes by Klein Homes that are under construction if you're looking for a more custom home. Now, there are a lot of custom builders back here if you can find a lot. Um, we've got those as well, but for right now, when it comes to builders, Lennar is the only one actively building a lot of homes and as they're finished they are releasing them so when we walk in you'll notice right here on the left you've got this little area which you can use for many purposes you could close this wall off and make this an amazing office you could make it a small spare bedroom or a second dining room you'll see there's another dining room later um, you've got options or just like a little sitting room library this would be perfect because you've got that light coming in from those windows right out onto that porch in the front so as we continue down the hallway you're gonna see that there is the drop zone right here and you've also got the half bath just after that before we get any further, if you're new here, my name is Bill Olson. I am a local realtor in the greater Charleston area, and I've helped my clients build homes with just about every builder in town. So if you have any questions about the building process, the design process, or anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. I can also represent you in resale homes as well. So going back to this home, it is 4,373 square feet with five bedrooms and five and a half bathrooms. So we're here, the master bathroom is on the first floor of this home, which because it's elevated is actually the second floor, but it's the main living level. So you've got that right here and this lot actually looks over the pond. So you've got these windows that are looking out over the pond and a lot of these homes on the back side of this street are looking out over water and marshland. So we've got the master bathroom right here. You've got the garden tub between the two vanities. I love this look. I love how right when you come in, that awesome tub is just right there. You've got the water closet over here, and then you've got this massive shower with a frameless glass enclosure and the rain head shower head, which I'm actually not a big fan of because I think it's just a waste of water. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Now we've also got two closets here and this. You've got a washer and dryer right in the master bathroom. And you'll see there's also a laundry room upstairs that services the other four bedrooms. So you've got these two closets here, one on the right, one on the left, one's a little bigger than the other. So you know you have to fight over whose closet is whose, but it does give you plenty of space. Now you'll see that there's a floorboard missing there. You're going to see blue tape all around this house. And that is completely normal at this stage of the completion, because what they do once the home is complete, they're going to go in and inspect the home for any cosmetic damages. And they're going to put blue tape on those. And then they're going to have the painters come in or whoever the trades that need to come in to fix all of those items so that when this home is purchased, it is absolutely perfect. So for example, even when my clients are building a home, you do have what I like to call the blue tape walkthrough. So you would walk through the home with myself and the builder. They would go over everything in the home, but we would also inspect every room and we would get to mark up any of these blemishes that we see so that they can come in and repair those, have the painters, the drywall people do what they do and have it fixed so that when you purchase that home and you close on the home, they don't have to come back in and repaint everything because we know everything is perfect. And it's pretty common to see things. It's human error. It happens. So that's why we do that. Now this opens up into this amazing open living space. And you know, we had that dining room over there. We saw the pantry. 
which you'll also see connects to the kitchen there. Now you've got this open space here with the fireplace, with the shiplap, it is a gas fireplace. We got this huge island, those papers that are taped onto the island, that's where all of the items are that they need to remedy. So they can just go and check those off. Don't worry, those won't be there if you buy this home. So fridge would go there. You've got the double wall oven here, which is great. This is the chef's kitchen. So it's gonna give you the double wall oven with the cooktop. And it's also got a great backsplash here that's actually gonna go all the way up to the integrated hood that's integrated into the cabinets there. So it's not just an open metal one in this. Um, that could be an option in others. You've got the glass fronted cabinets. So that's just like an extra little touch that I love that, yeah, you've got to keep your cabinets a lot cleaner, but it looks so nice. Now on the island here, you've got the porcelain farmhouse sink with the dishwasher next to it. And then you've got the eat-in kitchen area. So you put a table here, as you can see, you're looking out into the backyard. And the lots here in Riverside are from a quarter acre to a half acre lots. I've actually had some clients build a home in here. They moved down from Pittsburgh to get out of the cold. And one of the things that they absolutely loved was the size of the lots, especially when you compare it to other areas of Mount Pleasant. These lots are so much bigger than the others. Now, when it comes to amenities here in Riverside, that was another thing that really attracted them to it. There's a 20 acre lake called Bolden Lake and right next to it you've got the Lake Club which has a pool. Now there are other amenities in the village which is the front section of River or of Carolina Park and you do have access to the tennis courts, the dog park, the pavilion, there's a great lawn but there's also a pool. If you want access to the pool you do have to pay another membership to have that. I don't know why you would because you've got the pool right back here in Riverside that you can use and then you can go up to the front to use all of those other amenities. Now before we head upstairs we're gonna go through here and we're gonna take a look at this garage. Now again I have a lot of clients that move from up north and these elevated homes really speak to them because we don't have basements here in South Carolina. So if you're coming from an area with a basement and you have a lot of stuff and you're wondering where you're gonna put it, looking towards an elevated home is usually a good thing because you have all of this space underneath the house. Now, should be noted that yes, those are slatted, they are open air, so you can't really put anything that you wouldn't mind getting into the weather a little bit down here. But if you've got like a lot of bikes or a golf cart, some kayaks, you know, anything that you want to store down here. It's not insurable usually depending on the flood zone, but it does give you a lot of extra space to put things. I've seen people put full weight rooms down there. I've seen bars with ping pong tables. There's just so many options because you have so much space. If you woodworkers, I have a client who has a full wood shop down under their home. So now we're gonna head up to the second floor where we're gonna find the rest of those bedrooms. So there's four bedrooms when we get upstairs here. And right when we turn the corner, there's also this massive loft area. So not only do you have the living space downstairs, you've got that front space that could be a sitting area or den. You've also got this loft, which is great if you have guests or you're a multi-generational family, you need that second living space. If you've got kids, this makes a perfect playroom because all of their toys and everything stays upstairs and out of the main living space. And again, this is surrounded by all of those other bedrooms. So over here, you've got a nice size bedroom with these double doors that go into it. And this opens up onto that front porch, that second level front porch. You've actually got two doors that come out of this these bedrooms out onto this porch. So this is one of them. And look at this view that you've got here. It was an absolutely gorgeous day when we were touring through this home. And you've got the view of this pond over here. Now, 
You'll also see that the exterior of this home is hardy plank siding, so it is a very durable siding. And you know, if you went through the ARB, you'd probably be able to paint the home, unlike if it was siding or vinyl siding where you'd have to replace all of that siding. So you've got this bedroom here. Now let's go check out the bedroom on the other side, which again also has access out to that porch. So these would also make a great office if you needed two offices because you would have this access going out to the porch right from your office to go out, get some fresh air and just, or just open the door and let that breeze come in while you're getting your day's work done. So as we head back inside, we're gonna see that behind this in this bedroom, this bedroom also has an ensuite bathroom. Now you didn't see it right when we walked in because it is hidden back here behind this door. Now another thing you'll notice is the floors upstairs. There's absolutely no carpet in this home. It's either the tile in the bathrooms, it's this luxury vinyl plank that's throughout the rest of the home. And there's, I believe we'll see here, there's more tile in the laundry room, which is right here. And this is a huge laundry room. You've got even more storage in here, as well as the cabinets. You've got your breaker boxes up here if you should ever need that. So there is so much room in this laundry room. So that makes those two laundry rooms. There's the one down in the master bathroom and this one upstairs. So you never have to carry laundry up or down, which is such a great convenience. So now we've got the bathroom that services the loft and all of the bedrooms upstairs, followed by this bedroom here, where I love where they've put these windows up high so you can put the bed on that wall, not lose any light there. And this also has a nice walk-in closet. So this floor plan, I mean, again, you're looking at 4,300 square feet there's so much storage and that 4,300 square feet doesn't even include the garage. That's all extra space that you can use for fun games, storage, whatever you'd like, however many cars you have, you think what, three cars down there. So now let's follow up with these final bedrooms here in the back. So we've got this one here. This also has its own bathroom. Remember, there are five and a half bathrooms in this floor plan. So if you've got a large family or you need a lot of space, this is a great home for you. Now let's talk about schools. Back here in Riverside, you are with the Carolina Park Elementary School. You are the Cario Middle School and you are serviced by Wando High School, which is not far from here, right at the entrance to Cane Bay. You're super close to Costco minutes away from getting to Isle of Palms, you're like 15 to 20 minutes from Isle of Palms. So you can easily get to the beach back here. You're right along the water. You've got killer views out the back. This neighborhood just kind of has everything you could need. Now let's talk transfer fees. Like what does it cost to live in here? So right now for these homes, you've got a capital contribution fee of a quarter of a percent. There's a builder fee of 0.35% and a development fee of half a percent. And that's all of the final sales price. So when we're looking at these homes that currently are listed right around 1.7 million, you're looking at about $17,000 in just neighborhood and builder fees at closing. So if you want more information about this home or any of the other homes you see on the market or on this channel, I would love to have a talk with you and see if we could work together to get you in one of these homes and help you through that process. Go ahead, check out this video here. It's another awesome home back here in Riverside, and I hope this helped.